up, Railers? Welcome to the Time Man. Come on in. So yeah, good morning from the Time Man. Um, then we got Yesmer up so far. He's always first one up, always second. Um, we cleaned last night, so it's like spotless right now. Uh, we got some new lights we installed. Uh, it's sort of our living room here. Uh, Matt Sherm brought his couch. That was max credits for Matt Sherm. Sometimes we play card games over here. Sometimes we do some blackjacks and poker. See something else that's funny. <laughs> no, always you're always winning. Yeah, you did it last time. That's true. Yeah, you know, the goal obviously in the morning is to get up first. It's this is over the war zone in the morning. So, um, but you know we got the setup here, and then you know the, the ten man, the fridge is always a war zone too. Uh, we got all our stuff here. This is my, me and Jed shelf up top. This is my pad right here. You know, we got all the goodies here. I'm a, I'm a number up here. Um, we got four Frenchies and then me. And then. So, you know, you learn a lot of French here, but, you know, it's not hard. Nah. Here's my room right here. Me and Jed. Uh, Nord Mustangs. Only, only decoration I need. Nord Mustangs right here. The booth. Classic bagel and peanut butter. Oh, yeah. Uh, always, and then Logan Hawley, who's I already mentioned, teaches me everything I know about cooking, uh, making his making his little sandwich here. And then we head over to the table. We got uh, we got X with his is that bacon? Yeah, every single morning, same thing. Uh, and then Jesper, who's been up since 6 a.m. making his oatmeal, uh, <laughs> he's ready. And then Boyer and Tomas each got their toast peanut butter, and then. Tristan's got his eggs too. I gotta shout out uh, Landon Booth and Toma Malguit for cleaning the entire 10 men yesterday. <sighs> Another beautiful day in Worcester, Massachusetts. So after last high school season, um, it was actually my high school coach. He reached out to Coach Bertoni, uh, sort of the same way that he did with Marshy two years before. And um, I came out, skated with them a couple times, uh, and then got off for contract. So, because I was actually planning on going to school at first, um, and then all that happened within a couple of weeks, so then I changed my mind at the, the last minute. It was a very tough decision. Um, yeah, it was tough because I was gonna play, I was gonna try out for the club team at Quinnipiac. I, I already have a friend that goes there, a couple friends that go there, so um, it was a really, really tough decision. I just, for some reason, I just knew in, like, in my heart that I just wanted to be here, so I wanna play for the Railers, so that's what I ended up choosing. It's been awesome. Coaches have, coaches have been great, and then the guys I'm living with are just amazing. So they taught me so much, and you know I, I can't complain at all. I love the location. It's not it's far enough away from home, but not too far from home that I can go home on most weekends. And you know I still keep in touch with all my friends and talk to my family every day. So it's been awesome so far. We're at uh, Creative Cakes in Worcester, very underrated breakfast sandwich place. Uh, can I get a baked egg and cheese on a plain bagel? Yeah, it's gonna happen. I'm, I'm starting to get like fined for it too in court. It's like, like people are setting me up and I'm just, I don't, I don't, I don't know what's going on. Another day in the office, Worcester Race Center. No place to rather be. Let's get to work. Good morning, Wiki. This is Cam Wickens from Revere. This is my vet, Logan Hawley. Well, the buzz corner over here. Man, yes, it's the buzz corner. Yes, sir. Fellow 10 manner, Len ah. Booth. Here we go. This is Chase Carney, he is terrible at NHL. Terrible, terrible at NHL. He's terrible. It's Dan Lemansky. There he is. There he is, Dan Lemansky. <laughs> there he is, Edward Soulier. How are we doing? What's up? How you been? You get a little uh, sleep in a little bit today? Yeah. Yeah, you didn't want to be in the video? No, he doesn't want to be in the video. All right, well, we're going to talk to him more now because he doesn't want to be in the video. It's crazy. I hit, I hit all the targets here, but then, you know, when we get into games, it's just like nothing. Top left. Oh, whoa. Top left. Damn. All right, that's when I, this is when I score here. This is when I match it. That's me, I, baby. Top left. Let's go. Top left. There we go. Let's tie the game right here. Don't miss. P.I. P.I. Next one, next one wins. Is that in? Yeah. Woo! 
we all know Revere's the best town in the world. Yeah. That's that's undebatable. Yeah. What's the second best town in the world? Um, Revere the second. Ooh. Paul Revere. Ooh. I don't know about that. What? No. I was gonna. I was looking for Norwood. Norwood, Massachusetts. I don't know what that is. How are you liking the Worcester Railers so far? It's amazing. It's amazing. Sometimes it's not as fun because I have to hang out with you, but. Well, I will not be coming to Main Street anymore. That apartment is stupid. Linfield versus Norwood. Who's winning? Linfield, obviously. Wrong. <laughs> you are wrong. No. Well, I hope you have a terrible practice. So, yeah. yeah. Go Stangs. I'm really good at this. I'm very kind of mid at everything else. This is, I think I'm good at this. That's a good one, man. Yes. He said it. I did a good one. There goes Chase, six foot five, 130 pounds. That wasn't anything short of amazing. I don't know what it is. I'm walking on Green Street to go get some breakfast, and all of a sudden, Captain Charlie Dessa screams down, rolls down his window of his RAV4, yells words I can't say because God is listening, and I'm like, up. Kid comes in on Wickens, and he can't. I think he might have scored. I don't know. Doesn't even matter at this point. It's not what I'm here for. I'm here to lay bodies. I've accepted my role as a as an enforcer, I'm gonna nip on whoever I'm shooting on next, too. Oh. Atta boy. Atta boy. Atta boy. Atta boy. Atta boy. Atta boy. Atta boy, Ed. I'm, I'm actually not from like a hockey family. None of my family played hockey, neither of my parents. Um, but when I was I think four, they wanted me to try to learn to skate. Just like, you know, like parents do, they want like their kids to like try everything. So they put me in, learn to skate, and Fell in love with it ever since. It was different. It was awesome because the three other captains we had, I had played with for nine straight seasons, ever since we were eight, eight years old. So that was pretty awesome. I mean, it's it was good because I had known I knew every single kid on the team before the season even started. I had been friends with them forever. So I mean, it was pretty. It was a being with the guys I was with. It. It was really easy, but at the same time, there was also challenges. Um, before that year, you know, you fo try to focus on your game and play your game only, and let other people worry about themselves. But as a captain, you gotta, you know, you gotta focus more on like the team play instead, more of like a sort of a group leadership. Yeah, it's, it makes it a lot different. But you know, we adjusted. You know, it's a, it's a huge jump, especially going from Division Two public high school to. The, e the, the EHL team. I did not. I did not expect to make the EHL team right away. I. Uh, it was. It was sort of a. A surprise to me at first, but it's. It's a huge jump, and I mean, you can see ten, through ten games. I mean, it's. I'm starting to adjust to it, especially the systems part. But it's just everyone is so much stronger and faster. It's just. It's crazy, and I have to completely change my game, as you guys even saw today. The stick handling has to. It's got, it's got to go, and then I gotta, you know, I just gotta make quicker decisions and get through all the systems. The systems part, I'm starting to get down, but it's just the opponents and the, the size and the speed is just so much different. It's crazy. Yeah, I'll make beef and rice. I seriously never cooked before for myself before I moved here. This is uh, Jesper has Jesper and Logan have taught me like everything about cooking that I know. Higher heat. Higher heat. You think so? And then I don't, I keep it here and you know, mess around a little bit and then I'm not supposed to take it off until there's zero pink. Ooh, that's a, no, get out of here. Tomas Carbonara is fire. Boother makes some good food. Jesper and Holly. Holly's really good. Everyone, Ed, get in there. Ready? Marshy. Tristan, Jesper, you're on dishes today. You clapping for me? Yeah. What? Get out of here. I did all the dishes last night. That's such cap. What? So there's another fantasy football win over the Mac show. Sorry, Mac. Got some schoolwork you gotta do. Uh, it's more than just off the ice, you know, it's academics as well. Uh, so, yeah, let's go do that. French lesson. I just kind of want to, especially living upstairs with four French guys who speak French all day to each other when they're not surrounded by the rest of us. I just don't. Wait, I feel like, wow. I feel like, I feel like one, they might be talking, talking wreck about us. 
so I need to get in on that. <laughs> and second, it would just be cool. In French. What is that in French? Oh, I don't know. You don't know? No. I teach you that. You do not teach me this. That's not true. Worst student ever. That's not true. You're a bad teacher. You're being a bad teacher right now. You're supposed to encourage me, not put me down. You, uh, you can take this for Bacon. Right. Ask him. Okay. Don't ask him. Just take it. Yeah. <laughs> Just, Just take it. Oh, well, going to the bathroom. Going to the bathroom. Je vais aller aux toilettes. It's not under the black table. It's under the. It's under the. Uh, I lost my English now. This kid plays more video games. This kid plays more video games than anyone. It's yes. It's only because I'm here. When I'm in Quebec, I don't play. Okay, buddy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've only ever played with kids from my hometown, and then like a couple years, I played with kids from like a couple surrounding towns. But playing with kids from other countries is just like. So much cooler. Um, first introduction. Who are you, and what do you what did you make here tonight? So my name is Thomas Madouit. I'm from France, and with my guy Boother here, I made a carbonara sauce with pasta, which is oh, fire. Yes, get the hair off the mic. Um, what was your contribution tonight to this boother? The bacon. The bacon? Um, what did you make tonight? Can you say that again? Carbonara. <laughs> well, this looks great and I'm excited to eat it. So, let's eat. I might be too much. No, 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 never too much. Thank you, Thomas. Merci, Thomas. Thank you, Boother. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Boother. Thank you. Oh, we just started our. Uh, Fantasy draft. Um, first overall pick, Cam Wickens. He uh, he took Connor McDavid. I mean, you gotta respect that. I, I would have done the same thing. And then second overall pick, Team Arizona. Logan Hawley picked. Uh, you have to go with the Arizona boy, Austin Matthews. And then that leaves me with the third pick, and I took Leon Dreisaitl, the best line mate in the NHL. All right, we're gonna play some NHL. Uh, I got smoked last time. Me and Tris, I'm, I'm really bad, so. We're at Main Street, room 1003. Yeah. 1003. Corbin Mealy, Matt Loza. What y'all do? You guys are not. Just to say. Alright, first intermission report. It's safe to say Carney and Ed are not themselves tonight. Ah! Come on! Stop with the fantasy! Oh my god, we're in a tie game right now. That's game. That's game. Hey, there's a lot. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Did you really there. Oh, you got a. Uh, you got a. Oh, Philly. Oh. Back in this. Ah, you guys. Damn it. Hey, he's waiting. Per usual. Yeah, per usual. You know, I'm forgot to take the time. Let's get a lot better people. To be honest, I had him on the ice. You know, every loss to me is personal. So. Um, Too bad you played a lot better. What was the thoughts? Too bad you lose a lot. I I thought you should have called the time out there at the end. Oh, I didn't know that's like how it works. Yeah. No way. I don't know. Yeah. Any, yeah. any comments from the winners? What? No, I'm not surprising you. <laughs> it's usual. That's five games in a row for us. Yeah. Uh, thank you all for joining me for a day in the life of a Worcester Railer. See you all later. No. <laughs> 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 <laughs>